Introducing the Amcrest IP4M 1051 4-megapixel high-definition PTZ camera. This indoor IP camera delivers magnificent HD video up to 4 megapixels at 20 frames per second using the latest image sensor and Amberella chipset. Dual band Wi-Fi lets you quickly connect to 2.4 or 5 gigahertz networks to view your live stream remotely using your mobile device. See everything with a 120 degree super wide viewing angle. Cover more ground with 360 degree pan and 90 degree tilt. And take a closer look with up to 16x digital zoom. Illuminate the darkness with long range infrared night vision up to 32 feet away. Record and store videos on a micro SD card, local PC, NVR, NAS, or Amcrest Cloud with 7, 14, and 30 day plans. Get instant notification on your computer or smartphone using intelligent motion detection alerts as soon as your camera senses movement. Utilize two-way audio to listen and talk through the camera's built-in speaker and microphone. The IP4M 1051 lets you connect to the people and places you care about. Now let's set up your IP camera using the Amcrest View Pro mobile app for remote viewing. First, please make sure the power cable is plugged into the back of your camera and to an outlet using the included power adapter. After a few moments, your 1051 camera will rotate as it initializes. Once it's done, notice that the LED on the back of the camera starts to blink green, which means it's ready to be added to the app. Now let's see how to download and install the app on your mobile device. The first thing you need to do is connect your mobile device to your Wi-Fi network and launch the App Store or Play Store. In the search field, type Amcrest and select the Amcrest View Pro app from the list. Then tap to download and install the app. Once it's installed, tap Open to launch the app. If this is your first time running the app, a welcome wizard will appear. This is the easiest and fastest way to get your camera connected and start your live stream. Tap Start to begin. First, select your device type. Tap Wi-Fi Camera. Then select your connection type. Tap Wi-Fi Configuration Setup. Next, your mobile device will display the QR code scanner, which is ready to scan the QR code located on the bottom of the camera. Make sure the entire QR code on the sticker shows clearly on your screen. The app will move to the next screen once scanned successfully. In case the QR code cannot be scanned, tap Enter SN manually to enter in the serial number also found on the bottom of your camera. Tap Next to continue. Here you'll need to give your camera a name. It is recommended to name your camera a name that will help you remember and identify it easily. Perhaps a room name, camera number, or location. When finished, tap Next on the on-screen keyboard. The default username and password are both admin. They will be pre-filled in the fields. You'll get a chance to change your password later. For now, tap Done on the keyboard. Then tap Next. On the following screen, you'll see your SSID, which will be the Wi-Fi network that your phone is connected to. Below the SSID, enter your Wi-Fi password. Then tap Next, and you'll hear an audible indicator that your mobile device is connecting to your camera and to your Wi-Fi network. If the camera does not connect, tap the Ethernet Wi-Fi Setup button and follow the on-screen steps. Please give the camera about two minutes to connect to your Wi-Fi network. This quick and easy plug-and-play method gets your camera connected to your phone within minutes and also adds your camera to your Wi-Fi without needing to use an Ethernet cable or needing to configure Wi-Fi manually through the camera's web UI on a computer. Congratulations! you have successfully connected to your camera. Tap the Start Live View button to move to the next screen. Here you'll need to create a new and secure password consisting of at least eight characters using a combination of upper and lowercase letters and numbers. The password change will take effect immediately, so take great care to remember it for future use. If you forget your password, you can reset your camera by pressing the LED reset button on the back of the camera for about 30 seconds and repeat the process.
After the password is modified, your phone will connect to your camera and pull up the live feed. A welcome wizard will appear. You'll see the live view appear in a single view window. To see a multi-channel view, tap the channel icons on the lower left. You can add more cameras from here by tapping the plus sign in one of the channels and tapping add device. Tap the back arrow to go back. To return to full screen, double tap the channel to go back to a single view window. Tap the star button to add a new favorites group. Tap the screen gear icon on the far right to configure motion detection. For more on this, please see our motion detection and alerts configuration video. On the bottom left are the two-way audio controls. Tap the microphone icon to talk into your mobile device and out through your camera's built-in speaker. Conversely, you can tap on the speaker icon to listen to sounds coming from the camera through its built-in microphone and stay connected with the ones you care about. To utilize the pan tilt feature, tap the pan tilt zoom controls below. Once activated, you can swipe directly on your device's screen to pan left or right and tilt up or down. To use the digital zoom, simply pinch and drag on the screen to expand the view. Tap the PTZ controls once more to exit. Tap the HD button to toggle between standard and high definition resolutions. Tap the camera icon to take snapshots. Swipe left to bring up more features including recording video, changing screen orientation, turning night vision off or on, and changing the picture's brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, or reset to default. And that's all there is to it. We hope you enjoyed this IP4M 1051 feature highlight and quick setup video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to check out our latest products and instructional videos from Amcrest.